Hi everyone, I'm Brian with aromacup.com and I'm going to show you today how to adjust the brew volume on the Nespresso Inicia single serve espresso machine. Really easy to do, let's dive right into it. I have uh, two shot glasses right here, one that is the golden standard for a single shot of espresso, about 30 milliliters of liquid, and then I have one that you would usually use for a lungo. And I'm going to show you how to, first of all, adjust the volume on an espresso shot. Now, first of all, make sure your Inicia machine is turned on, <laughs> uh, which is very easy to do. Just simply press one of these buttons, uh, the brew buttons, either the espresso or the lungo button. That'll turn the machine on. Take your shot glass, place it uh, underneath the brew spigot, select a Grand Cru capsule, pop it in, close up the machine. And now all I'm going to do is press and hold the single shot, the espresso shot button, and I'm going to hold that down until I have the amount of liquid in my shot glass that I would like to brew. And this will happen pretty quickly, so you want to be ready. And there we go. That right there has programmed my Anisia machine. Now anytime I brew the espresso shot from my Anisia machine, I'm going to get exactly that much liquid. And now let's talk about how to do the uh, Lungo shot. Now the reason you would want to program the Lungo shot properly with your Anisia machine is because there are some Grand Cru capsules from Nespresso that specifically are labeled as Lungo, meaning that you want to use the Lungo uh, size option from your Anisia machine to get the optimal brew out of your machine. So let's program our machine. I'm going to use a Lungo shot, or, or should I say a Lungo Grand Cru capsule. Drop that into the Anisia machine. Close up the brew spigot. Now I'm going to add my Lungo sized shot glass and again repeat the process, hold down that button while I'm brewing. And I'm just going to hold this down until I reach the desired amount of liquid that I would want out of a Lungo shot. I have noticed that this machine brewed a little bit over the size that I would usually ex ex expect for a Lungo, so I'm going to program this to right about there. This should be just about right for a Lungo shot. This means that I'm going to get, each time I press the Lungo button on my Anisia, the exact size that I've just programmed into that button. Now you can reset your machine to its factory settings if you would like, uh, but if you want to be very specific about how much liquid you're going to brew out of your machine, that's exactly how easy it is to program these buttons on the Nespresso Inicia. It's going to make sure, of course, you get a great shot of espresso each and every time you use your Nespresso Inicia. So there you have it, guys. That's how easy that is. And if you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them here in the description of this video. Or as always, visit us on aromacup.com. I'm Brian with aromacup.com. I want to thank you guys for joining me. Enjoy your cup, and I'll see you next time. Take care. Today I'm going to be showing you the different ways that you can froth milk using Nespresso single serve options. And uh, so I'm going to be comparing the three major ways that you can do that from Nespresso side by side by side. And I'm going to do that using the Nespresso Maestria uh, single serve espresso machine. I've done a full review of this machine. You can check that out in our other videos. We're going to show you how to do that using the Aerochino Plus by Nespresso. We've talked about this many times here on Aroma Cup. It's tried and true. And then finally, we're going to show you how to do that using the Nespresso De Longhi single serve uh, espresso machine that has a built in milk frother. So let's dive in and talk about how to froth milk with each of these different options. <laughs> 